News Brief, Sky Remix, Ali Tordi, Switch Role Playing Game Octopath, Traveler has moved a grand total of 1.5 million units, counting shipments and digital sales, since its release last July according to a Japanese announcement, spotted by Jadmatsu, it's worth mentioning that shipped does not necessarily reflect the number of copies sold. But even still the milestone represents a significant amount of interest in the visually distinct RPG, especially for a Switch exclusive title. In a relatively short amount of time, Square Enix has hinted that a second Dark Opeth is in development for consoles. But in the meantime the company has also announced that it allowed in launching a smartphone prequel to Octopath Traveler this year, at least in Japan. A translation of a tweet shared to the game's official Twitter account notes that a closed demo for that game, Octopath Traveler, Champions of the Continent, will take place ahead of its full launch. The 2019 Game Developers Conference kicks off in San Francisco next month. What are you going to see? If you are not sure yet, no worries. As you are scrolling through this year's session schedule and figuring out how to spend your time, organizers want to quickly let you know that Bank of GDC SPAKRS have taken the time to make 602nd-ish pitch videos for their talks, produced for the far year running. This flash forward videos are always great at encapsulations of what makes the idea talks great. They are fun, lovable, and surprisingly informative. Plus, they are easy to watch. Just head over to the official GD YouTube channel, which is steadily filling up with smart and brief videos produced by a charming assortment of DD 2019 speakers. Each is a personalized PITCHFORY you should make time in your busy schedule to check out a given talk. While you are attending BD, we have once again no RTNIZADTHEGDC 2019 flash forward pitches into a playlist embedded below and added more information about each speaker, and a link to their talk in the description of their video. Have a look, you can find lots more great videos over on the official GD YouTube channel, which is also regularly updated with new talks, according to GDS through the ages. Subscribe, and you will be the first to know about when new videos are added to the channel. For more details on these speakers, Talks and many more. Head over to THEGDC 2000 on 19 session scheduler. There you can begin to lay out your GD 2019, which takes place March 18th through the 10th at the newly renovated Moscow Need Center in San Francisco. Bring your team to GD, register a group of 10 or more, and save 10% in conference passes. Learn M-O-R-A-H-E-R-A. For more details on NGDC 2000, on 19 visit the show's official website, or subscribe to your regular updates via Facebook, Twitter, OS, God Art Sucha and DD are sibling organizations, under parent company and former. Dirty Bone is going free to play, in the most literal interpretation of the term, after an update next week. All monetization will be patched out of the game. Following last month's announcement that the dev team is winding down live support for the game, it's both a nice gesture and a neat way to for the developer to thank Dirty Bonds players for supporting the game through the years. Even though the team will not be making any new content for the game from here on out, developer Splash Damage announced last year that it was planning to end development of new Dirty Bomb content due to diminishing returns and offer refunds to players that had purchased Merc Pack DLC since it was not going to be releasing any Mac characters in the future. While Splash Damage does not plan to make more characters a content for the game, 
It does plan for Dirty Bomb to remain online and playable for as long as a meaningful number of players still ogged into play. Now, as a thank you to the players that have stuck with the game throughout the years, Splash Damage is releasing a patch that removes premium currency from the game, making all of those items purchasable with Dirty Bond's regular, earnable currency instead. The patch will almost triple the rate at which players earn credits, in addition to converting any single unit of premium currency into roughly 20 regular credits. On top of that, the team is bringing back some popular in-game items that, for whatever reason, were no longer available, though the dev says in the patch notes that not every back catalog item has been brought back. Due to some unfortunate technical limitations, games are a vibrant medium, and there is a remarkable array of developers out there right now. Designing games touch can help people cope, heal, and find solace. You will have an opportunity to meet at least a few of them at THEGAME Developers Conference next month, where in a special independent games summit top six different. Creators will present a set of micro talks on personal experiences as games. Present is Natalie Longhead, Alien Melon, JINGYU Soy, U, Priscilla Snow, Brother Mule GHOLNOIC, Kevin Snow, Brother Mule GHOLNOIC, Jenny GL Sharp, Executable, and Nina Freeman, for Bright, Will. Each discuss how they create games for personal expression, coping, empathy, mental health, and more, as well as what methods they have used to convey personal messages that speak on deeper topics. As much as games are about mastery of a skill, games can be about mastery of the emotions and addressing issues people might be closed off to. Games can help people cope, heal and find solace. This set of macro talks is a discussion about using game development practices to make a difference. Expect to walk away with a better understanding of what games are capable of, as well as some practical insight into how to deal with topics of vulnerability, openness, empathy, personal messages, social awareness, and mental health. Further details on this intriguing talk and many more are available now on THEGDC 2019 session scheduler. There you can begin to lay out your GD 2019, which takes place March 18th through the 22 at the newly renovated Moscone's Center in San Francisco. Bring your team to GD. Register a group of 10 or more and save 10% in conference passes. Learn M-O-R-E-H-E-R-E. For more details on GDC 2000, on 19 visit the show's official website, or subscribe to your regular updates via Facebook, Twitter, OS, God Art Sutra and GD are sibling organizations, under parent company and former, Eco Inux, is a sibling game of shaping nature. Having players create their own ecosystems of plants and animals living in harmony through the flora and fauna that you place throughout the world, you will feed into the needs of your living beings, creating a healthy world. Carl Wimble, developer of Eco Inux, put a deep love for the nurturing, calming power of nature into this sandbox title, using his own happy experiences with plants to create a slower, more relaxed game. Not only would it be relaxing to play, but in some ways, its nature also made it more relaxing to develop, creating with far even the developer to unwind while creating it. Intrigue to learn more about Wimbo's naturalistic approach to game development. We caught up with Thiemann himself. A, a quick chat about what happens when game dev and mother nature cross paths. I have always been very interested in nature, and love being outside in general. When I was young my mom used to teach me all about the different birds and plants in our garden.
and I really enjoyed growing things of my own, especially vegetables. I still do that to this day, in pots, on the balcony, or anywhere that I can find space for it. So, back in 2015, when I was deciding what project to do next, I wanted to make something nature-related to allow me to tie together two of my passions, nature and game development. When I was deciding what type of game I wanted to make, I first considered making something similar to a farming simulator, as I have always enjoyed growing vegetables myself. However, there were already a lot of farming games in existence, so I decided to go for something similar, but with a bit less structure, something a bit more organic. That's where the idea of creating and balancing ecosystems came from. At the start, I had plans for a very sandbox-wise simulation game. But as the project progressed, 